In this game, there are two ways to win. Winning as the good guy and winning as the bad guy. My name is Raida Shun and this is the story of how I became the best Overwatch player in the world, stuck on the line between good and evil. Our story begins with a trio of quite intriguing individuals. We have a soldier doing the stand out in the open strap, a doom doing the let everyone know where I am strap, and the junk doing the I'm so close I can't escape strap. The Orisa busts through the door full force but think it's a bit distracted by the trap. While she's in La La Land, the trouble makes her grand entry. And the Doom decides that he wants no part in helping his team. Then the Doom decides to run away, but instead he jumps off the map. The Far Mercy was probably why the team DC'd in, probably because they love to swim with the fishes. I know what you may be thinking, they can't fall off the map that much. Wait a minute, watch this. And that's pretty much how the round went for them. Getting bullied by the Far Mercy, falling off the map, dying constantly. Finally, I guess the Doom reached his breaking point and after getting murdered by the Orisa, he decided to DC taking the junk and soldier with him. The Kitako and Mercy were left by themselves, leaving them to be annihilated by the enemy team. And so the enemy team carried on triumphantly with the joy of making a whole team DC. And this is where I come in. Well, not me, but the junk because my internet was a little slow. But the junk and the Arisa come in like a crazy strong force fighting, aggressive, wild, ready to win, ready to take this battle into their own hands. And the junk with no fear goes after the Farah, attacking her, diving her. He's not gonna let her get a break. You see, he had a personal vendetta against Farah Mercies and he was not gonna let this one destroy the game for him. He hears the Mercy rising and he decides it's up to him to take her out. But our Icarus may have flew a little too close to the sun and was murdered and now it's my time to shine i'm coming out of the lobby hot ready and a little lost i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't know what i was doing then i got a little distracted with my turret ouch that hurt it and on my side i was being attacked by a soldier and i ran away because i wasn't confident in my 1v1s but don't worry i turned around and came back and you said, know what, I'm gonna stick it to that soldier, and I killed him. And for a while, it felt like we had the longest minutes of contesting. People were popping ults that didn't kill anybody, nobody was dying, and the villains of our story, the Farah and Mercy, couldn't do anything at all. But that was until the Farah decided to pop ult, which the Arisa deflected, and then the Ana finished it off by sleeping her. Finally, our Arisa pops alt giving us space to work and we push these guys back. This allows us to kill their tank and to follow that up, Junk decides he wants to go and solo alt someone. And I'm thinking I'm doing good, I'm making shots, killing some people and that's until the Arisa pops alt and I spray my alt on her thinking because she's not moving, you know, it's gonna do more damage. That didn't work and when the Pharah get her alt and I die. Ah. Ah indeed, but don't worry because the Junk and our Ana are still in the back line and swiftly they kill the tank, stopping the team from pushing any further. And so, the battle continues and we hold our forces standing strong. The enemy tank once again dies and our Arisa shows us a triumphant victory dance. We are now down to the final minute of this battle and things are heating up. Each team is desperately trying to win. And here, I actually do something useful. I take my knowledge knowing that people tend to have tunnel vision and put my turret directly on the cart. Therefore, every time someone ults it, they die due to turret damage. In our final 10 seconds, our Arisa pops the alt she's been saving, and that is how we won the game. Yeah! Yet! <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this video. This is my very first gaming storytelling video, so I have a lot to grow upon and a lot to change, but if you did enjoy, regardless of how new this is, 
please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you want to see more of, what you want changed, and I can't wait to see you in another one. Goodbye!